Matthew iron a dress shirt. Today I will be demonstrating how to properly iron a dress shirt. This may sound like a simple task, but in reality the smallest mistake may increase the amount of wrinkles or even damage the shirt beyond repair. The first step is taking the dress shirt and checking the tag. It's usually located on the back of the collar or on the inside tab. This will list the fabrics and also inform you which setting to use on your iron. Go to your iron and then check the settings. This particular iron has a nylon setting, wool or silk setting, linen and cotton setting, and a maximum setting. The shirt indicated that it was polyester and cotton. So I'll simply set it to the linen and cotton setting. First take the dress shirt and lay the collar on the back of your ironing board. Use the iron and do smooth, quick strokes on the collar. You want to constantly keep your iron moving in order not to burn the shirt. After doing the inside of the collar, flip it around and repeat the same strokes on the back. Okay, that looks good. After that, we're going to move on to the sleeves. Take the sleeve, smooth out the wrinkles, and you want to move from the seam down to the cuff. Again, using smooth, quick strokes. After that side's done, simply flip it over and repeat. Moving from the seam down to the cuff. After the first sleeve is finished, go to the other sleeve, lay flat on your ironing board, smooth out the wrinkles, and again moving from the seam down to the cuff. Quick strokes. Flipping the shirt over and repeating on the back. Seam to After the second sleeve is finished, rotate the shirt, collar side facing the tip of the board. Smooth out all the wrinkles. Okay. And iron from the top to the bottom. Again, using smooth, quick strokes. If you have to readjust the shirt, make sure you just take a break and put the iron to the side, never leaving the iron on the fabric. Once that side's finished, just simply pull it down and we're going to do the other side. Smooth out all the wrinkles and again iron from the top to the bottom. When doing this, it's good to apply a little bit of pressure, but not too much. After the back is finished, we're now going to move on to the front of the shirt. Simply place it again with the collar at the tip of the board, smoothing out any wrinkles, and always moving from the top to the bottom.
And then we only have one more side left, so I'm going to pick up the shirt and repeat on this side. The side with the buttons, this is always a little more difficult, but you still want to make sure you iron between each one. After that, you're all set. Simply flip the collar down and immediately hang. It's also good to button the top button and middle button to make sure the shirt keeps its form. After that, you're all set and you'll look very dapper at work.